Hey yo squad, what's the drill? Louisiana been on one since way back when And right now there's so many popping artists from the area His name is always in the headlines But sometimes, even though things are great musically You still gotta deal with the tragedies that come with this rap game When he get mixed with street beef In this vid, we gonna look at one of the artists who is known for this all too well Fredo Bang Having been shot at Charged with attempted hit, did jail time, lost best friends to beef, and still rising to be a superstar, he survived it all, man. It's time to break down his come up, struggles, and position as TBG Honcho. So without further ado, let's skip the play play and get down to business. Baton Rouge has been buzzing and thugging for a minute, but this new generation of rappers are coming with heat on beats and in the streets. Frederick Givens II, also known as Fredo Bang, is one of the rappers doing his thing and becoming famous. Coming up in the uptown Southside Baton Rouge, Louisiana area, he endured regular struggles with his moms and pops, but hustling was always in his blood. Um, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, uptown Southside to be exact. And the street influence was very much present. According to Fredo Bang, his brothers were going to prison for everything under the sun. One doing 10 years for a dope charge, another for guns. With them in and out of jail, he was learning life by himself a lot of the times. I mean, my brothers know he was being in and out of jail, so I used to have to teach myself everything. On the other hand, Fredo Bang wanted better for himself and tried his best not to go the same path. He was killing it in school and excelled to go on to college. Music was something he always had a passion for and was even offered a scholarship. Fredo had love for his moms and turned down the scholarship to be there for her when his parents were getting divorced. I turned it down. Why? I wanted to be, my mom was going through a divorce. I wanted to be close to home. He was like that kid who held his family together on all ends. Maybe that's why he eventually lost control of his emotions. With him being there for moms and staying on top of school, beneath all that, the streets was too much to resist, and he was in the trenches with his henchmen, putting in work allegedly. Music eventually found its way to him when he was kicking it with his day one crazy trait. Vibing with the homies recording in a home studio in the closet, he would hop in, spit a bar, and the homies told him he was nice with it. I started rapping. I had a, a partner named Crazy Trey. They used to rap in the closet. Like, oh, $25 mic and stuff, so I used to go over there and listen to him. One day they asked me to get in there, and I had, I think I said some type of punchline, they were like, you gotta keep rapping, so I just stuck with it. One of his homies called him Fredo after the Chirac legend Fredo Santana, R.I.P., and that's how he got his rap alias Fredo Bang. Uh, like Fredo Santana? Like, yeah. Okay. I got my name for him. Oh, okay, so you got named after Fredo Santana. Yeah. The Bang Man was slowly losing grip on being a civilian, sinking deeper and deeper into the hood environment, and with that, taking substances like lean. But he still kept his focus on the money. Eventually, hood shenanigans led Fredo into a couple skirmishes that nearly took his life. He's been jumped, shot at, and had bullets buzz past his ear. And to this day, he has a scar over his right eye from scrapping with the ops. I no, mean, I'm, I'm a pit. Them. I'm a pit. You gotta jump me. You feel me? Especially if you don't know what you're doing. That's how I yeah. get the cut, on, the cut over my eye. I ain't got, I got a jump. Fredo Bang was making a name for himself and becoming aligned with TBG, also known as Top Boy Gorillas, along with his childhood homie turned brother G Money. The two first met in elementary school and bounced up again around fifth grade. Remember the homie Crazy Trey before? G used to rap at his home studio setup and him and Fredo began rocking more. Later they started collaborating on tracks like Easy with Lil Issue and Kevin F and countless others. And then tragedy struck with G Money. But before that event would take place, Fredo Bang's life would change when he caught his first charge for second degree battery after breaking someone's nose. That tossed his promise in school life out the window. You graduated high school. Yeah. You went to college. Yeah. Why'd you drop out? Because I caught my first charge. And I told myself that I was like, I'm gonna get rid of my. No, I, I'm not knowing that you'll fi be fighting charges four, five years and stuff like that. So I told myself I'm gonna, you know, get rid of my charges first and then come back to school. So, okay. what was the charge for? Um, my first charge was second degree batter. I had broke somebody's nose. Him and G Money became partners holding it down for TBG. That friendship turned into a brotherhood after Fredo Bang lost his day one homie, Crazy Trey, to the streets. On March 28, 2014, at a birthday party slash show with Fredo Bang at the Baker Civic Club, Nikidrin Williams offloaded the strap murking three people and injuring two. One of the people was DeAndre Claiborne, also known as Crazy Trey. Fredo Bang and G Money both went back with Crazy Trey and his passing turned them into brothers. Around 2014, when my, when my, when my best friend Crazy Trey died, um, G had always 
I had just started like taking rap serious and I had seen G at a snowball stand. We're like, you gotta get on the track, bitch. And after that, we just started linking up and, you know, we ain't, we ain't split, you know what I'm saying? The two started applying pressure, putting TBG on the map. And it was right on time because now Fredo dropped out of college and getting a job just didn't feel right anymore. He turned his focus to music and the streets. That lasted for about a year before getting hemmed up again by law enforcement. This time he caught a charge for attempted murder in 2016 for a shooting he did in 2015 allegedly. I was, I was out for a whole year and then I caught my attempted murder. Okay, that happened in 2016. This was sparked by a situation where the name The Bang Man became known for real for real to his ops. Fredo Bang got into an argument with a rapper Louis Badass because he snitched on Fredo's cousin. He had a situation with my cousin. My co he ended up sending my cousin to jail. So I was trying to mediate the situation, trying to get him out of jail, and, and you know what I'm saying? So this other rapper told on your cousin? Yeah. Okay, he cooperated with the police. Yeah. The back and forth led to Fredo seeing him outside on IG and pulled up on business, all leaned up. The next week I see him on Instagram again inside the yard. This time I ain't even comment or nothing, I just pulled up. So I'm like, shit, they're gonna do it. They moved from in front of Louis's grandma's apartment to square up and throw hands for about five minutes before his pops came through and hit Fredo with the sucker punch. After that, at the end of the fight, his daddy snuck him. His dad. His dad snuck me from behind. Mind you, you know I'm by myself. Then the whole apartment complex started trying to rush Fredo. So he dipped to the car, grabbed his strap allegedly, and started bussing. I my, got my car like, like 30 feet away. I went in the car, grabbed my gun. And I'm, I, I actually wasn't aiming for him. I aimed for his dad. When I, when, after I shot, his dad started shooting back and he started shooting back. Oh. So it was just a yeah. full-blown shootout. Yeah, we started having a shootout. So now, I'm like, damn, I'm, I'm, I'm counting my bullets, you know? So I got like four shots in there. Shit. I gotta go and bust a bullet, you know? So now, hop in the car, try to pull off. When I'm pulling off, his mama pull up and try to block me in. Louis Badass and his moms were rat Fredo out to the cops, which got him to hit charge in the first place. Okay, so he goes to the police? Yeah, they, they had called the police out there. Okay, so, but who, who gave the statement? Was it him, his father? Him and his mom. Fredo Bang was taken to the East Baton Rouge Paris prison, where he was charged with attempted second degree hit, illegal use of a weapon, and aggravated criminal damage to property with a bond set at 70000 TBG would pay the bond, and he would be back out thugging, which was the title of his next single. However, within just 16 days of being out, he was right back in the pen after being caught with a stolen firearm that was registered for being involved in five shootings. 10%. Yeah, so I'm going out, and I come back to jail in 16 days. Why is that? A stolen firearm. Fredo was at the studio when a chick that was stalking him pulled up and blocked him in leading to an argument and he kicked her out. Nothing's worse than a woman scorned, I promise you. Fredo learned that the hard way. She called the cops and that's how they found him in the whip with the stolen pole. Fredo Bang was 19 and looking at 40 years behind bars. Yeah, they, they, were, they, were, they were talking about, they were saying that I, I, I was facing up to 40 years. 40 years. Luckily, old boy Louie and his moms dropped the charges, but the prosecution wasn't gonna let him slide so easy. And they kept that joint on hold for two and a half years. He stayed fighting the case and he was trying to get free. And then eventually, he was released on parole for five years. As for Louis Badass, he was murked in 2018. Louis was actually homies with Noosey, the rapper that was one of the people Boosie shooter Marlo Mike allegedly claimed for Boosie. Even though Fredo was back outside, his heart was heavy and his emotions were cold, while behind bars, G Money lost his life to the streets allegedly over a beef with past TBG affiliate and friend NBA Youngboy. The beef spiraled out of control when YB felt the way that G Money lay piped to his sister. Garrett Burton, aka G Money, was caught lacking in a parking lot outside the music studio on Dallas Drive. He suffered fatal wounds after being sprayed up. On record, police charged NBA affiliate DeAndre Fields, also known as NBA Lil Pap, for the hit. Fredo Bang had now lost his best friend Crazy Trey and who he considered his brother, G Money. Describing hearing this news while in prison said, you could see the pain in his eyes and the hurt in his voice. What's even worse? So when I called my brother, he got on the phone, he talking, you know, like he about to tear up, he was tearing up and shit. So um, he was like, man, um, 
you talk to you talk to moms, I'm like, I'm like, no, what up? I'm sure I'm just waking up, you woke me up. He's like, shit, um, they had a shooting by the studio, man. Niggas say G got killed. So I'm like, man, I ain't trying to hear, you know what I'm saying? I hang up in his face. It's G Money wouldn't have still been in Baton Rouge if he wasn't waiting for his brother Fred to wake up. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's G Money wouldn't have still been in Baton Rouge if he wasn't waiting for his brother Fred to bang to be released that week when he finally got to see the body. It was after being escorted in shackles. I was in shackles from my fucking toes to my fucking mouth. I, 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 I had my wrists and my ankles shackled up. And he broke down all over again, trying to come to terms with the truth. Fredo's mind was messed up from the pain and the loss of the streets. He was suffering with PTSD and trauma and wanted everyone to feel his pain. I mean, do you think you have PTSD? Yeah. In his interview with DJ Smalls, he fought the tears until he couldn't hold it back anymore and had to wipe his eyes when he was asked about what he missed the most about G. What do you miss the most about him? Everything. Is there something in particular though? Or? Fredo to this day has G tatted on his body and got him on a chain and released the project in the name of G, holding it down for bro and living out their dreams. After the project dropped, Fredo healed up and carried on the legacy of his bro. He released the song Father dedicated to G and Crazy Trey. In Dog Gone detailing hearing of G's passing, he vowed that the situation would be handled and G's passing wasn't gonna slide. All, all I can say is it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be handled, you know? Fredo was a man of his word. Bodies around YB started dropping. TBG's top shooter, Lit Yoshi, was watching all this go down and stepped up, and he was a real hitter, allegedly. And he became like a right-hand man to Fredo Bang. He died, Fredo in jail, Crook was in jail. Like, it felt like on some stuff, it was like kind of dying down. So I'm like, shit, no, I know this shit come from. I've been around this since I was little. I can't let this shit die down. Yoshi would target Lil' Pap riddling bullets his direction, nearly taking his life. Next, YB's homie Dumb was murked. Then the rumored assistant hit her on the Mission Boulevard quick disrespected YB's moms, and the get back came his way after YB responded to his disrespect online. Man, yeah, man. Young boy, mom, tell me about this. My mama. I ain't see that nigga. Don't mix my rap life with my, with my music life. With both sides losing homies, YB and Fredo continued to take jabs at each other online. Things further escalated when an attempt was made on YB's life at the Trump International Beach Resort in Sunny Isles Beach, Miami, when shots were fired, hitting his then shorty, grazing a child, and taking the life of an innocent bystander. July 2021, Fed swooped down on Fredo's crib, arresting Lit Yoshi and then Fredo under allegations of being involved with YB's attempted assassination and the other bodies that dropped in YB's camp. Lit Yoshi is currently fighting for his life with charge after charge, but Fredo Bang was released from prison in November 2021 and keeping out of harm's way. I did videos on the entire arrest and case breakdown and detailed events of the bodies that dropped in previous videos so you can check them out to see how it all played out. For now, Fredo Bang has since leveled up with the big toys, moving to Miami and inking a deal with Def Jam, and releasing his latest album, Murder Made Me. Bro been through it all in the streets and kept it 100, wishing nothing but continued success and safety for everyone still alive, and rest in peace to those that lost their life in this beef. So there you have it. Thanks for kicking it with your boy. Appreciate the love and support. I'll catch y'all when I spin back round for the next vid. And remember, long live G-Money. And also remember, stay smart, stay alert, and stay real. I'm out, y'all.